Hello everyone, Brandon Holder from the Jones House here again with another mini music lesson on the guitar today. Thank you all so much for watching these and checking them out. Um, obviously we wish we could do things like this in person at the Jones House, but we just can't right now. So we really appreciate the support and watching all the concert videos and these music lessons. Today I'm going to do a little lesson on alternate picking. It's kind of a branch off of Brandon Johnson's um, tremolo mandolin videos that he's done the past couple weeks, but just kind of applying that same kind of picking concept to the bluegrass style guitar for um, lead solos, cross picking, and fiddle tunes. So the first piece of the puzzle here when talking about alternate picking is just the definition. So what it means is we're going to alter our pick direction. So instead of just going all down strokes on a string, we're going to go down, up, down, up with our pick. And the reason for this is once you get into more complicated songs with have a lot of notes in the melody or you're playing at a faster tempo, you really want to utilize that time and energy that it would take to after you play down, bringing your hand all the way back up to the pick above the string and plucking again. Your pick's already down below the string, so we're just going to come back up on it. It's kind of like a fiddle bow where you go one way, you don't pick it up and then go that way again. You just go back. So that's what we're doing with the pick. Once we go past the string, Instead of picking up and going back down again, we're just going to go up. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up. So the best way to practice this is probably with a metronome. So if the metronome is one, two, three, four, then we would want to pick eighth notes. So it sounds like this, down, up, down. on one string like that is best to start because the goal here is you want the down and the up pick to sound the same, have the same volume, the same duration, the same kind of tone. So once you feel comfortable doing your alternate picking, your down up picking on a single string, and you have good rhythm with a metronome, you feel relaxed and you have good accuracy with the string, um, you can try some other kind of exercises with it, utilizing the left hand and switching strings. A perfect one is just a, a major scale or any of the scales. You can see my hand here, it's down, up, down, up, down, up, even when I switch strings. And that'll get your left hand kind of used to doing something else so you're not focusing as much on your right also switching the strings. But once you've got that, feel pretty comfortable. We can, you try to use it in a more musical sense instead of just an exercise. Pick out a tune, a simple tune you already know. So one I start a lot of people out on guitar is Old Joe Clark. And they would probably learn it with all downstrokes. So it's the same melody. Everything's the same with the left hand here, but with the right hand, instead of all down, it's just going to be down, up, down, up, the whole time. It'll take a little getting used to because sometimes when you're switching strings it seems like you should do two down strokes in a row or two up strokes but really once you get up to speed the alternate the going back and forth is what really will make it sound more fluid once you get into more complicated kind of fiddle tunes um, you can really hear it um, something like blackberry blossom <laughs> So much.
much easier to play at that tempo, fitting all those notes in, wasting, not wasting en any energy with the right hand, it's just very efficient, just that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The, the difficult part is just getting that accuracy on all the strings and being able to keep that pattern when changing strings. So that's a brief introduction to alternate picking. That down up in your right hand will be more efficient for playing at faster tempos or notier songs or more solo based um, type of guitar playing. It's also a great bridge into the technique of cross picking which is kind of the equivalent of a banjo roll on the guitar. So whereas a lot of guitar playing is this kind of single melody string, one note at a time, cross picking, um, like I said, it's kind of like a banjo roll. And you can do that with single notes too, but a lot of people do it with these kind of small chords to kind of add some variety, especially to a solo. So one that you can practice Take your first finger across the first two strings on the third fret. Take your second finger, fourth fret of the third string, and that's just a small G chord. Let's practice our alternate picking using this. So from the third string to the first string. The difficult part of this is there's only three notes. So every time you start the pattern over, your pick is going to be going in a different direction. So very slowly, from the start, it's down, up, down. But then the second time, it's up, down, up. But then it starts over. So you really have to focus on keeping that down, up in your right hand as you do this. That's going to take some practice because it's very strange to do it first, but it'll really open up a lot of doors for you on the fretboard over here with different options once you get this kind of under control. Once you start learning alternate picking, and especially once you get into the more difficult parts of cross picking, it's very difficult and it takes a lot of practice and a lot of time, um, which is totally fine. You just need to have the patience. But also remember to just start slow. If something is hard, slow it down or break it into smaller parts. You can even use a metronome and just start slow and gradually build it up. You're kind of just building that accuracy and muscle memory with your right hand to where you can get it kind of on autopilot, focus more on the left hand phrasing. So start slow, build up, use a metronome if you can to make sure you get that good rhythm but also just try to play relaxed. If you feel a lot of tension, you probably need to slow down a little bit and get more comfortable before you bump it up. I hope these techniques will help you um, being a better guitar player in the future and open up some different avenues for you. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day.